The locked on road to the NHL trade deadline continues. The Pittsburgh Penguins make two moves on March 1st. First, they send forward Teddy Bluger to the Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for defenseman Peter Dillabator and a third round pick in the 2024 NHL draft. And then they acquire uh, Mikhail Granlund from the Nashville Predators for a second round pick in 2023. We're joined by Hunter Hodes of Locked On Penguins. And Hunter, your thoughts on these two deals, uh, the bigger one, I guess, being the Granlund deal. Yeah, so, you know, right when I saw that Bluger was getting moved, I'm like, okay, they're setting something up. They're opening up some cap space. Then you send down Brock McGinn and Mark Freeman because they cleared waivers. Now you have $6.3 million in cap space. You have the opportunity to go out there and add a, not, not a good player, an impact player because this team usually does not have that much cap space going into the trade deadline or at all during the Sydney Crosby of Guinea Malkin era. And Elliot Freeman even tweeted out their clearing room, like, yep, well, you know, people are saying this is Brock Besser, it's JT Miller, it could be someone else. It was someone else. It was just a player that I don't think many of us and many of us expected, Mikhail Granlin for a second round pick. And it's just like that's not the move that Ron Hextall needed to make. I'm sorry. This guy is on the wrong side of 30. He makes $5 million per year for the next two seasons after this one. That's who you're going after at the trade deadline. I just really question the, Ross, the, the, the player evaluations that he has with his staff there. You know, if you look at Jay Fresh's, um, sorry, he does great work for the analytics community. I mean, this player ranks in the third percentile for wins above replacement, eighth percentile for even strength offense, second percentile for even strength defense, third, 13th percentile for goals per 60 minutes. The only really good thing he does is his passing ability, but that's just the end. You know, that's just the opposite of what they need. They need finishers for their bottom six. And he is not that. You know, Brock McGinn, who is down in the minor leagues now, he has more goals than Mikhail Granlin does this year. And they just tried to wave him. I'm sorry. Just, I, I don't know what the, the plan is for this general manager. I don't really think he's ever had a plan. And, you know, I've been a part of this community for a long time. I've seen a lot of stuff. I don't think I've seen Penguins fans this against a move outside of when they signed Jack Johnson in 20 and just about five years ago. Wow. Uh, what does Granlin add to the lineup and where will he fit in, in the bottom six? You know, obviously again, you know, his, his passing metrics are very good. He's, he's, he's elite at that. His skating is good. Uh, those are two quality traits that he has outside of that. His defending is piss poor. My, my, my Jesse Marshall was sending me a couple of videos over tax before posting them on Twitter, showing me like how bad his defense has been this season. So I don't think you're going to get anything from him there. Um, he's probably going to slot in on the third line. I know he's had good numbers with Jason Zucker when they were in um, Minnesota from 2017 to 2019, um, all, all, all those um, all those years ago. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be playing on a line with Evgeny Malkin and Jason Zucker. I don't think they want to move Brian Russ down. Um, he's been playing a bit better as of late. But – you know, I think what they're probably going to do is put Granlund with Carter. Maybe Danton Heinen moved Roe Connor down to the fourth line. It's just now when you look at the third line, okay, two thirds of your McGinn Carter captain line are not there anymore. But is your third line really that much better? You have Jeff Carter on there who really hasn't done much this season. You have Granlund who only has nine goals. I understand he has close to 40 points. I think it's 36 right now, if I recall correctly, but most of those are assists. Um, so that's a good part of this game. But again, there's just not really much else there. So that's where I see him slotting in right now. I don't think he's going to play center. Um, this move screams that they're honestly going to keep Carter at center, which is even more crazy because he has not been good at the center position this season. Um, they'd be better off moving him to wing, but that's what I have right now. I almost hate to ask you this question. But do you see any other moves between now and Friday at 3 o'clock Eastern time? And if so, what are the Penguins trying to do? Or or are they trying to do anything? You know? it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great question, Gil. Um, right now, probably not. I think they only have a million, if that, in salary cap space. They would have to get creative. 
Um, I've seen all the rumors about Brock Besser and JT Miller. I don't think that's going to happen at this time unless they move significant salary out like Marcus Pedersen. Now, if they move Marcus Pedersen, um, I think people are going to be going to egg this poor guy's house because he's been awesome this season. <laughs> but I really don't see them adding anything else. Um, he's been saying for a while that, you know, if we're going to add someone, it's going to be someone with term. We're going to, if we want to give up a big asset, it's going to be someone that can help us this year and next year. It looks like he has accomplished that. Right now, I don't see them doing um, anything else. You know, I could be wrong, but, you know, I think. Gil, I don't think anyone else wants to see. I don't. I don't think anyone wants to see him do anything else right now. That's for sure. <laughs> At first, do no harm, right? I mean, yeah. all right. Well, be sure to check out Locked On Penguins for more on these two deals and all things Pittsburgh Penguins, and keep it dialed in to Locked On NHL all along the road to the NHL trade deadline. I'm Gil Martin. This is the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day.